everybody. Welcome back to Fandy F- Fandy Fights. Fandy Fandom fights? fights. I you know what, Nick? You know what it is? I'm probably just so full of Thanksgiving uh food and drink because it's Thanksgiving time right now. We're not right. shooting this early. I'm just uh so uh filled with turkey and uh grandma's pecan pie that I just I'm just lost for words. Welcome to Fandom. We got a number one contenders match for you. Uh, Thomas Scully cashing in from his MVP uh, from the Battle Royale earlier this year. Uh, cashing in his number one contender shot against his manager, Caleb Coho. Uh, interesting yeah. story. Um, Nick, what do you think? Yeah, uh, very interesting. You're correct. Scully went... Somewhere between 10 to 12 rounds, uh, experts still uh, debate over whether it was 10 or 12. It was a lot more rounds than anyone else. So Scully yeah. clearly earned uh, his MVP ship, his title shot, if you will. And uh, if it, whichever one of these two wins today uh, gets to play you in a title match. But, like, and, sure. and I'll be there too. And yeah. We'll both do it. Yeah. I don't like it, oh, but we're gonna do it anyway. I do actually really like it. It's gonna be yeah. very exciting. Coho also, also, I didn't say anything about Coho. Coho was the first person to challenge for the title this year. So some might say Coho's just getting a free skip, uh, skip the line uh, thing here to a to a contender match, but that was he's certainly deserving. No, that you, was you are one of those. I was one of those people who said that. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's get into the uh, match, starting with the promos right now. Uh, so. My worst nightmare has happened. The match that I've been actively avoiding for my entire career has come to fruition because at the end of the day, um, I have the only record in our faction that can handle this loss. Uh, so I am volunteering to take the L. Uh, but at the end of the day, this will be fun. It's like a friendly scrimmage between yeah. teammates. Uh, but if whoever, if you win this, it's the three greatest players in Phantom Fights history playing for the title. And if I win this... It's the, the 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 three people who ran the show at one point <laughs> fighting each other. So at the end of the day, I either get to play two again, kicks my ass, and I play Tim finally, or you get to play the greatest match I've ever seen in my life. So uh, this will be fun. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, and look, I there's there's gonna be a, a, a lot of chatter about me picking you, but here's the bottom line: you push two egg to the penultimate question or the last question of the match in the title in in, in your title match at the start of the season. You're, you and me are the only two people who haven't been knocked out in a single title match this season. So it works out really well, especially for our faction, because we don't want to give a, you know, a Boatman or an Albert or a Holtzman a loss that's going to damage them further down the line. You have enough right. wins where it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's win-win for you. So exactly. this is a very low-pressure match, I think, for both of us. We've both done this a million times before in a dark setting. Yeah. If I win... I get the toughest test of my life. If you win, you get to play your two fellow Advins, and it'll be a fun yeah. match either way, whatever happens. Whatever happens, this will be fun. So let's play. Man, let's make a man. Nick. Tim. Uh, I hope you could put down the stuffing for one second to yes. tell us what you think of the promos. Uh, they were very cordial. Manners. M- men were made today. Because manners made yeah. make it them, yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, really exciting. You know, Coho pitched it very well. E- either result today leads to an exciting title match in the at the end of the year. So I'm excited to see what happens today. Should be a fun one. Yeah, let's get into it right now with round number one. Here's how it's going to work. There are going to be 10 questions from 10 random categories in the realm of fandom fights. Each question is worth one point a piece. If you get all 10 questions correct, you will be issued a bonus question from a mystery category. Oh no, what could it be? Uh, You have three repeats and one challenge. Any questions? No, sir. Let's do it. Nick, start us off. Your first question comes in the category of the wizarding world. What is the name of the body of water where the second task takes place in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire? Oh, man. What? Nothing. I'm sleepy from all the Thanksgiving food. Ah, that's fair. I love New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you do, buddy. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, pens down. Let's start with uh, Coho. 
I couldn't remember, so I said the lagoons of fucks I don't have to give. Uh, and uh, Thomas Skull. And I can reveal Tuesday in April to you two guys. Uh, the Black Lake. <laughs> there you Black go. Lake is correct. So Tommy will take a one-point lead as we get into your next question, which is in the category of Star Trek. Which position does Spock take from Will Decker when he reboards the Enterprise in Star Trek The Motion Picture? Um, so this is the film that you watch every Thanksgiving with your family, correct? Nick? Yes. A lot of, a lot of Thanksgiving elements in this one. Yeah. You, you all sit down and watch Star Trek, the motion picture. Yep. Um, as if the food doesn't make you sleepy enough. <laughs> the cornucopia in the middle, we call it the wormhole. Look out. <laughs> uh, Scully. Science officer. And Coho. I said first officer. Science officer is correct. So Scully gets another point as we get into the next one, which is what, Nick? Next category is DC. What sport team does Car- Kara join at the private school in Supergirl? Kara, Kara? Probably Kara. I think it's Kara, but, you know, whatever. This movie's ass. It has its moments. Where it's less. When it ends, that's yeah, the that's best good. moment. Five, yeah. four, it has three, its two, moment. Two, one. Pens <laughs> down. Let's start with Coho. I said soccer. And Scully. Field hockey. Field hockey is correct. All right. Your next question is in Pixar. A product called All in All is central to the plot of which Pixar film? Um, so favorite Thanksgiving food, go. This is weird. I haven't, I mean, I've obviously been thinking about it. Yeah, this, you've been thinking about it. Yeah. Um, Fine. I like to mash them all together. I like to take some hams, turkey, potatoes, put them on a roll, eat it like a sandwich. Hands down. Ooh, I, that reminded me of something. I got to tell you. Uh, Scully. That's usually for the, the day after, uh, Cars 2. And Coho. Cars 2. Cars 2 is correct, and Coho is on the board 4-1 to one in favor of Scully. Your next question, which is mine to read. Yes, it comes in the category of fandom quotes. Which YA dystopia character said the quote, Good job, you just killed yourself. Um, so for the longest time, this is what you just reminded me of. For the longest time, I told myself I didn't like mashed potatoes. Um, but I recently had two separate meals at restaurants that served mashed potatoes and they were both really excellent. And so now I think I'm re I think it might've been a sorry mom, but your mashed potatoes weren't great. These mashed potatoes were really good. So I think I'm now a fan five. Have you even seen the Martian? Two, (laughs) one (laughs) pens down. Um, Take that because someone's calling my phone. Go ahead. Go ho. Uh, Plutarch Evansby and Scully. I said Hamish. Both, unfortunately, incorrect. Uh, we were looking for Miho from the Maze Run. Ah, I oh. had Hamish and changed it to Plutarch, so I'm glad it didn't matter. <laughs> sorry. Uh, who got it? Nobody. No. Nobody. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so uh, we say four to one. As we get into your next question, which is in Planet of the Apes. Which Planet of the Apes film features performances from Kim Hunter and David Watson? Uh, my mother is calling, uh, probably because it's the holidays. Um, what does she, does she want to talk to me? Yeah, thanks. I'm sorry that you It's on my to-do list. I love you. I love you, Mom. I didn't say anything about your potatoes. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to uh, Scully. Escape from the Planet of the Apes. And uh, Koho. Escape from the Planet of the Apes. Both incorrect. We we're looking for Beneath oh, the Planet see, see. of the Apes. Uh, what is next, Nick? Your next question comes in the category of James Bond. In For Your Eyes Only, 
The villain Christados is killed by Columbo. What kind of weapon? Uh, I'm assuming my mother wanted to know the results of a certain uh, test we had recently. Understood. Got it. Uh, not pregnancy. Don't worry, everybody. When, everybody when, when, when Maggie eventually gets pregnant, we're going to announce it of live on Logged In. It's going to be really exciting. We're going to like put the colors up and everything. It's going to, oh, wait, that's only when you know the sex. Never mind. Five. Four, that's three, every mom's dream come two, true. One, <laughs> Let's go to Coho. Uh, when in doubt, harpoon gun. <laughs> Scully. Crossbow. Both incorrect. We're looking for a throwing knife. Oh. Ah. But someone has a crossbow in them. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, your next question is in the MCU. Who plays Scott's friend Kurt in both Ant-Man films? Uh, Nick, because I was talking about my, my mother for the last two questions, I forgot to ask you to hear your golden pipes during that last question. So if we could hear them now, that'd be great. Your eyes only. Dun, dun. Only for you. So good. So good. Five. Yeah. Four. That song's amazing. Three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Scully. Tip T.I. Harris. And we will go to Coho. David Desmelchin. Coho is oh. correct. Mixing up the friends, but Coho um, hits the point. Uh, cuts into that lead a little bit. Four to two. That's what I have, Nick. That's what I have as well. All right. Your next question is what, Nick? Your next question comes in the category of horror icons. Which Nightmare on Elm Street film fe sees the death of the character Kristen Parker? And you'll just take subtitle, right? Yes. Um. Yeah, I, that's we've talked about this a million times, so that's got to be top five Bond songs. Oh well, yeah. There's like no question to me. Yeah, live and let die. There. Live and let die. Goldfinger. Scaffold. That five. Four, that's a great song. Four, Hold on. Three. Gold finger is more fun to like. One. Pens <laughs> down. Gold finger. Uh, Coho. The Dream Child. And uh, Scully. The Dream Master. Dream Master. Is Son of a bitch. I wrote down right. Dream right away. I just had to figure out which of the three it was. <laughs> that, that's a that's a good strategy. <laughs> God. Uh, all right, your final question comes from the category of DreamWorks animation, not live action animation. In Trolls World Tour, which tribe are the first to be attacked by Barb and the Hard Rock Tribe? Um. Yeah, because like Live and Let Die, I like Goldfinger. That's I think fair. we can all agree that Die Another Day is the worst one, right? You know what's great is um the one for On Her Majesties that Louis Armstrong did. It's oh, just not right. it's just not like I'm um, like, just you know, like a title song. I like the Casino Royale song. Sorry. That's true. It's good. He doesn't. It doesn't feel like a bond. Pens down. It doesn't. Uh Scully. Techno. And Cover. I, I said R&B. It's still, I didn't know which one Anthony Ramos was in. This, I it was. Techno is correct. So at the end of round number one, I have Scully in the lead six to two. Is that what you have, Nick? Yes, sir. Oh, boy. All right. We're going to get into round number two. Here's how it's going to work. We're going to the wheel from mildeside.com. Each player is going to have a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin the first time, they can keep it, or they can choose to spin again. But they have to keep whatever they spin the second time. You will get five questions worth two points apiece, unless you check the multiple choice. Then it will be worth only one point, and stealing is available in round number two. Gentlemen, any questions as we get into round number two? I haven't turned to a cow. Can I go home? <laughs> <laughs> All right, your categories uh, on the wheel today are Fandom Oscars, Marvel, Scores and Soundtracks, Disney Animation, Wizarding World, MCU, Jimmy B, and Disney Live Action. Uh, Scully, you're in the lead. Do you want to spin first or defer to Coco? <laughs> I'll go second. <laughs> okay, this is the spin for Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Kato Coho. 
lands on Disney uh, live action. Would you like to keep it so or close. spin again? Yeah, once more into the best. We'll spin again. Spinning again. This is what you are stuck with. And it lands on Disney. Why All right. That's fine. All right. Tease Nick. me with Oscars and then don't give it to me. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Go ahead and give him his questions. Okay, well, Bill, are you prepared for your questions in the category Disney Live Action? As ready as I'll ever be, Cotton. Great. Your first question. Which Disney Live Action film features an assassin robot called a siphon? I thought I had it. And then I went, maybe that one. I'll go multiple choice to be safe. Your multiple choice options is A, Artemis Fowl, B, Race to Witch Mountain, C, Tomorrowland, or D, Tron Legacy. I'll stick with my gut and say Tomorrowland. That is incorrect. Scully chance for a one point steal is A, Artemis Fowl, B, Race to Witch Mountain, C, Tomorrowland, D, Tron Legacy. Give me a repeat of the whole question. Sorry. All right. That's Scully's first repeat. The question again, which Disney live action film features an assassin robot called a siphon? And your options are A, Artemis Fowl, B, Race to Witch Mountain, C, Tomorrowland, or D, Tron Legacy? Race to Witch Mountain. That is correct for a one-point steal. Give me the question again. Ah. <sighs> Coho, your second question. Mm -hmm. Who plays Maurice, Belle's father, in 2017's Beauty and the Beast? Probably the best performance in this movie, Kevin Klein. That is correct for two points. Your third question. In the one and only Ivan, what new talent does Ivan develop that is used to attract new customers to the show? Uh, multiple choice. All right. Is it A, juggling, B, playing the drums, C, whistling, or D, drawing? Juggling. That is incorrect. Scully chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, juggling, B, playing the drums, C, whistling, D, drawing? Drawing. That is correct for a one-point steal. All right. Coho, your penultimate question. Mm -hmm. In National Treasure Book of Secrets, what is the five-letter word that serves as the code key for the Playfair cipher in Booth's diary? Shit. Multiple choice. I don't want to hear it. Fuck. Is it A, death, B, blood, C, night, D, tower? Okay, the options again. Sure. Is it A, death, B, blood, C, night, D, tower. Tower? It's incorrect. Scully chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, death, B, blood, C, night, D, tower? Death. That is correct for a one-point steal. And Coho, as we get to your final question, mm -hmm. what U.S. state does the majority of Homeward Bound The Incredible Journey take place in? Multiple choice. Is it A, Nevada, B, Texas, C, Utah, D, California? Texas. That is incorrect. Scully chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Nevada, B, Texas, C, Utah, D, California? California. That is correct. For another one-point steal. And the end All right, of Scully, bring it home. <laughs> All right. So Scully with the steals gets his total up to 10. Uh, Coho gets his points up to 4. Is that what you have, Nick? That's what I have. All right, we'll bring back My the accuracy wheel. is going to tank <laughs> after this one. Uh, here's your first spin. Well, you played a, a lot of matches. so. Oh, I wonder what he's going to do. It lands on the wizard. Hey, spin the again. Hey, spin again. Make it interesting. Come on. Spin again. Make it funny. You're if you like, interesting. If you liked, you know my name. I would, but you don't. So I'm going to keep it. I do like you know my name. What are you? What is this blasphemy? I don't know what that means, but we're going to. It, it's the casino. Out. The name of what? the song. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Did he say he doesn't like that song? No, I do like that song. He's just being an asshole. All right. Uh, Scully, I'll give you your questions in the Wizarding World. Are you ready? I'm ready. Your first question. In Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, 
What is the third obstacle that Harry, Ron, and Hermione have to go through on their way to the stone? Uh, the, the flying keys. That is correct for two points. Your second question. In how many films does Harry Potter use the pen sieve in Dumbledore's office? Three. That is correct for two points. All right, Scully, your third question. What is the first escaped zoo animal that Jacob and Newt encounter before going to the zoo to find the Arapent in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? Oh, first the encounter. The Niffler. That is incorrect. Coho, chance for a two point steal. I need to watch the movie again. I wasn't expecting to answer questions this round. Um, the fuck is that thing called again? It's the. Um, five. Four. Three. Two. Repeat the question. Four. All right. That is going to be Coho's first repeat. Mm hmm. What is the first escaped zoo animal that Jacob and Newt encounter before going to the zoo to find the Arapent in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? I I can see it and I literally can't think of the name of it. Um, five. Four. The fucking celery looking fucker. Final answer. <laughs> you got the answer is a lion. Oh. <laughs> cool. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Sorry, I'm it. just being behind the curtain. I said you we said zoo animal. Coho goes, oh, I don't know how to fucking say it. I, I should have used my To be fair, to be fair, I entirely didn't listen to the question and he said Niffler and I thought oh. I had to answer a beast. Zoo so, animal. So, I'm, a, so, I, I'm a moron. Please. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Me and Nick were. I I made Nick smile. The Nick. That was the worst smile. I've ever broken. Yeah, that was rough. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, uh, we move on to Scully's fourth question. Your question, Scully. What Hogwarts student is the werewolf Greyback eating during the uh, Battle of Hogwarts in the Deathly Hallows Part Two? Lavender Brown. That is correct for two points. Here is the situation. Um, Coho needs to steal this. Coho needs points. to steal this for two points in order to move on. All right. Scully, your final question. Who plays Vernon Dus Who plays Vernon Dursley in the Wizarding World? Rest in peace, Richard Griffiths. Ugh. And your winner by knockout, Thomas Scully, uh, moving on to play for the title yet again. Uh, Nick, what did you think of the match? Uh, Scully showed his dominance. Coho showed that maybe he just hasn't played in a while. Probably hasn't watched watched some movie, but I'm sure with a, a little bit of a brush up, uh, we'll see Coho back uh, in fighting shape next year since this is the end of the year. Yeah. Um, and yeah, no, other than that, it's going to be super fun. Play Scully. I think me versus you versus him. It's going to be an exciting one. It will be legendary. We'll bring in both of them right now uh, to talk about the match. Uh, Scully, congratulations. You're on your way to another title match. Um, Coho, you have a player moving on to a title match. Uh, oh, yeah. How are we feeling, guys? Uh, okay. I, be I, hold on. Hold on. Before, Coho, before Coho says anything, I... I I know exactly what's going to happen when this match drops because of the result, because of the score. They're going to think that Coho lay, just lied down on the ground and took the beating. That's exactly not what happened. This is why we had Coho in this situation because he is the player that works his ass off. He Sometimes he has rough games. We both had rough games today. We both had bad misses. But I don't want anybody going out there in the comments saying he laid down and just took a bullet because that is exactly not that's not what happened at all. We had rough games, both of us. 
He just got an unfortunate category in round two, and I got a strength that I'm, if I, you know, knew what a zoo animal was and wasn't a moron, I would have been invincible in. Um, but I'm just going to put that out there right now. Okay. Coho. Pretty confident that's the worst showing I've ever had in my career in bed <laughs> fights. Um, and that doesn't feel super great. Uh, but, I mean, I lost to Scully. And if I have to take my first knockout in my singles career to Scully, I'll live with it. Um, that's fine. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, I get to focus on all of my teams that I have to play support on, and uh, and I can take a little bit of a break from from being a so a solo singles player and get back into shape for next season. But yeah, no, Scully played great. Scully's gonna play great again in the title match. And you three playing is going to be an, a one for the ages. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't deprive the world of that match happening. Today was just uh, getting out all the stupid little shitty mistakes that I made. All I'm saying is, is I'm all glad I don't have to be the player in this upcoming match and I can just focus on being the coach uh, and focus on coaching for the rest of the year. That's all I need on my plate. So, yeah, uh, shitty, shitty game for me, but Scully played fucking amazing. So. Uh, anything else that you want to talk about for the title match, uh, Scully? Anything you want to say? Look, I mean, this year has been a roller coaster, I think, for all three of us. We both had, all three of us have had, well, not Nick, but we've all had our, our share of highs and lows. I lost my team belt. I'm yeah, I was about to say. say. <laughs> Fair, <I guess. laughs> but this is the, this is this is the the last match of the year. So between the three of us, we're gonna go out. We're gonna have a fun competitive match um and whoever wins ends up on top as the best in this division and i just hope that all three of us can go the distance um but me personally you know this i've had losses to both of you this year both were by a razor thin margin I'm looking to change that so all the mistakes you saw today we're gonna we're gonna iron that out over the next uh, however long it is until the next match drops <laughs> to yeah, fix those yeah. mistakes and then, uh, and then we're gonna be ready. All right, Get the popcorn ready, folks. This is gonna be a good one. Yeah, we'll see that at the final event. Thank you, Coho. Thank you, Scully. Nick, any final thoughts? Uh, I'm ready. This, this this is gonna be it's gonna be a good test. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be the greatest match I'll be have participated in. Uh, I don't know if you could say the same, but it's yeah. it's gonna be Usually at this point. Yeah, I'd it's gonna be so. crazy. Uh, take nothing away from, from today. Like I said, Coho will bounce back and Scully will probably shake the dust off and, and see us keep beat. We'll all be keeping pace. With, it's going to be so fun. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm just excited to have fun with Scully and, uh, Coho and, uh, or Scully. Yeah. Scully, Coho, Cody, you, uh, Robert will probably be there on the writing and on the desk. That'll be fun. So it's, it's just going to be a good time, uh, with all my friends playing some trivia. So good luck, Scully. Thank you to Scully coho for being here today thank you nick we'll see you guys uh real soon uh with uh the rest of the matches with the tournament uh ending uh with a great tournament it's gonna be, yeah that was so much fun that tournament uh we totally know what happened so uh we'll see you guys real soon until then bye we are so glad you came bye 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 now bye 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 Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is, there, is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good. Well, it's, uh, it's Tim here, and I'm starting in singles this time. I don't have Robert to back me up, but that's okay, because for as strong as Robert is as a uh, singles competitor, I am equally as strong, and I'm going to try to prove that here today to everybody. Uh, so look out, Chris. And your winner, advancing to play Robert Parker for the title, Tim the Hulk. Rikala. And your winner, and still Phantom Fight Champion of the World. Uh, I don't know. It'll probably be a long road to get there, and I'll probably have to play a few matches. I'll do whatever um, to do what I need to do. 
What's up, guys? I'm Thomas Skelly. Most of you have no idea who I am, but that's good. I like to come in, be a bit of an unknown quantity, like to surprise a lot of people. And your winner, the Warhawk, Thomas <laughs> Skelly. Wow. And your winner. Uh, and I wanted to be the best player I could be in this league, and I wanted to end up with some belts. Um, tonight I got it. And your winner and new fandom singles champion of the world. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. Welcome uh, to this great match. Uh, this is probably the first time you're seeing me because it's the first time I'm seeing myself in this league. Um, yeah, I don't know a whole lot uh, what goes on in this league, but I like winning stuff, so here I am. And your winner, Nicholas Tui! But guess what? Tim was without a partner. Tim carried those team titles for a long time, helped that team win a year, uh, match after match after match. So I went and got the next best thing in fandom, which was Nicholas Tui. And your winner, and your winner, by a new singles champion, Nicholas Tuig. I'm happy I could take it from him. Yes, we beat him in teams, but in singles we're one-on-one, -on -one, so I would like to see Scully down the line at some point. And we'll come right back, hey. and Mayhem will be Scully Tuig for... And your winner. Just kidding, I have the belt, but just come get it. And your winner, Tim Buffalo. <laughs> And your winner of the 2021 Fandom Fights Free For All, Tim the Hulk. And your winner. Um, I would put top tier up there as those players that come up there and do everything they can to try to make themselves the best. And especially, it doesn't get any closer than Tuig, Tim, and Scully. They put everything they possibly can do into this 